Yawar. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raiz Yawar, formerly Raiz Ali, Ali Mirza, sorry. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2014 St. George's reunion. Whether it's been five years or 50 years since we left St. George's, we still remember the classes we attended, the games we played, the friendships we lived for, and the music we listened to. This is the eighth reunion I've had the pleasure to speak at, and I really wanted to say something memorable. Speech coaches advise, speak to be remembered. And presidents have gifted speech writers to coin ringing phrases for the history books. I do not have that luxury, so I'm going to speak from my heart. Tonight, our gathering is unique in that we have St. Georgians who graduated in the 1940s and the 1990s. This is the first time, thanks to social media like Facebook and WhatsApp, that a lot of younger St. Georgians have actively participated in our reunion. Please give everyone a round of applause. And I know the day after the reunion, we'll be back on Facebook, peeking in each other's lives, and it's only in these moments that many of us will realize how much we miss our school days. We are here to relive our past, to share memories of our youth. We've all gone our separate ways and have lived, I'm sure, but very different lives. we all have in common is that we received our foundation from the same place, St. George's Grammar School. We may not remember every face or every name, but we share a common bond, the experience of being a St. Georgian. Many of our dear teachers who ushered us into adulthood touched our lives deeply. The gift of wisdom they gave us, we carry to the end of our days. The school motto, as most of you know, is Perseverantia Omnia Vincent, meaning perseverance conquers all things. Now this motto was embedded in our minds, and many of us accomplished great things with great perseverance. We are doctors, lawyers, engineers, doctors, entrepreneurs, writers. Now, did I mention doctors? Because that's what most of them are. <laughs> St. George's prepares us very well for the challenges before us. Some people say timing is everything and so is perception. We learned that we have to laugh, and find humor every day, and you've got to have a dream. What we didn't know at 16 is that life is way too short, so smile while you still have all your teeth. <laughs> May we always remember with gratitude the role St. George has played in our making us who we are today. And let us also be very grateful to our parents for enrolling us in this exclusive school. I want to specially thank, special thanks is due to our reunion committee who worked tirelessly to make this fine event possible. I want to personally recognize the efforts of Mr. Feroz Nathani. I want everyone to please stand up and acknowledge. Okay. Musharraf Sayyad. Rabia, Hanif, and I especially, especially want to thank Khutubuddin and Firasat, without whom this night would not be possible. Please give them a huge round of applause. At the last reunion, Zubair Nurul Haq had quoted Tennyson. And yesterday, I was talking to him about the great literature we study, like William Wordsworth's Tintern Abbey. I'm sure you all have that in the syllabus. And I was pleasantly surprised that he actually visited Tintern Abbey when he was in England. So give him a round of applause. 
What happened? I don't, I didn't hear the comment. Okay. As I've said in the past, just being a St. Georgian is an accomplishment in itself. So please give yourself a round of applause. I know and I'm very sure that there are a lot of, lot of accomplished St. Georgians present here today. I can't possibly take everyone's names, so I'm going to just take a few. Some notable St. Georgians, one of them is Dr. Ausaf Saeed. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> the current Council General of India, Chicago. He has nearly 25 years of diplomatic experience in Egypt, Qatar, and Denmark. He served as ambassador to India, in Yemen, and as Consul General of India in Jeddah. He holds a PhD in geology from Osmania University, but before all of this, he was a student at St. George's Grammar School. Okay, and some of the other notable St. George's who are here today include Muhammadullah Khan. Muhammadullah, can you please stand up and wave to everyone? He is here all the way from India to attend the union. He has won over 300 national and international awards for creating iconic brands that changed the face of advertising in India. He has been inducted into the Bombay, the Calcutta, and the Madras Ad Club Hall of Fame. Actually, the list goes on, but I'm going to touch just a couple more things. He's the very first Indian to be inducted into the Asian Advertising. <laughs> the next person I want to honor is Dr. Azhar Khader. He is a board certified urologist. He's a member of the MCC and is the chair of its community outreach and co-chair of its health awareness committees. He is co-founder and executive director of the Compassionate Care Network that provides affordable health care services for the uninsured. He is also the founder and president of Community Builders, a community advocacy group. He is the recipient of several community service awards. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mohsin Ali Khan helps underprivileged youngsters in Hyderabad at the Mausam Jahi Market School. Give him a round of applause, please. <laughs> and his brother, Ehsan Ali Khan, is the President of the Hyderabad Association in Washington, D.C. Give him a round of applause to I want to thank each and every one of you for attending, whether you traveled one mile or thousands of miles to get here, because we do have people who are here from London, from the Middle East, from Canada, all over the United States, I think from Florida and California and Atlanta, the list goes on and on. And as I said, I could not possibly take everyone's name, so just give everyone a long round of applause. Thank you so much. Like I said yesterday, we all worked very hard, and this year particularly, it was very frustrating because people registered really late even though I always tell them this last week, I don't know why. And at some point, Firasat and I were both saying, this is the last reunion we're not going to organize anymore. Oh, no, but, no. <laughs> but as I said, when I come here and I see so many happy faces, so many St. Georgians, especially I understand yesterday there were two classmates who met after 59 years then it's all worth it. It's all worth it. Thank you. I want to invite Kutubuddin, Feroz Bhai, Musharraf, and whoever else wants to join us to sing the school song. Please come up on the podium. I think Eunice Bhai sings it well too.
Okay, what about people on that table, that whole 1957 batch? Whoever remembers the song, come on. 